What's up YouTube, this is iTweaks here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get iOS 7 Beta 1 for free. Now you don't have to register your UDID and you don't have to have a developer's account and best of all you don't have to pay for it. You can do this on your iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPod Touch, 5th Gen and the iPad. Unfortunately the iPad IPSW isn't out just yet but within the week or so you guys will be able to get it as well and you'll just have to follow this step by step tutorial in order to get it working. So the process is actually very simple and I'm going to show you guys on my iPhone 4 just to show you that it works. First you'll have to download the IPSW and make sure you're downloading the correct IPSW for your device. You'll need to know if your device is a CMDA or a GSM. Also if you have an iPhone 5 just look at the back of the casing and you'll see a model number. It'll either say A1428 or A1429 can't really see it. it's kind of hard to see but it's right there it's not going to focus but definitely check that out so make sure that you're getting the right IPSW if you have an iPhone 5 also links to the IPSW's will be in the description below now on to the easy part all you have to do is plug in your device and wait for iTunes to open up and once it's open up you'll see that you'll have a check for update and restore iPhone once it's open, all you have to do is hold the option key and click on check for update if you're on a Mac. And if you're on a PC, just hold the control key and click on check for update. Make sure you're clicking on check for update. This is very important. You do not want to click on restore iPhone because there's a good chance that it won't work. Again, I repeat, you do not want to click on restore iPhone. So let's go ahead and hold the option key and click check for update and I have my IPSW saved on my desktop so I'm just gonna point it to that and I'm gonna click open now it says it's gonna update to iOS 7 and it will verify the update with Apple so go ahead and click update now this does take a while to update so give it ample time before you actually try to start over and I'll go ahead and speed this up for you guys now make sure if you do upgrade to iOS 7 that you do not restore your device. If you restore your device you will be forced to register your UDID. You can downgrade back to iOS 6 but remember do not restore. The rest of the process takes place on the device. Alright guys, so there you have it. There's iOS 7. Please like, favorite, and share this video on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or just with your friends. If you'd like to see more of my videos, including more iOS 7 videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time. Peace. Dude, no, 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 no. Just... God, whatever. This isn't going to work. It worked! No! Oh my gosh! Go away! Oh, I can't move. Why can't I move? Oh my god! No, 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 no. What's up, YouTube? This is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 20 city of tweaks.